Hey, this is Supreet and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about web-based automation. So basically we are going to scrap uh, or crawl over the website, a certain website and extract the information out of it. So let's see how do we do it uh, using uh, UI path. Now this is one website which shows you uh, population uh, which is very specific to a specific country. We would be choosing data scraping utility. Uh, this is going to ask me to choose a specific data to be extracted. So I'm going to choose country name. It, it will ask me to choose one more uh, country name uh, in order to create a pattern. So I'm going to choose one more. And then once the pattern is created, it will ask me to name the column. So I'm going to give my column name as country name. Once I click next, it will extract the data. It will extract the country name. Now I will have to you know, extract the correlated data. The correlated data would be population. So I'll, I'm going to click on extract correlated data and I'll have to choose a population data available, which is corresponding to my country. Now, once I have selected the population for the first country, again, it will ask me to generate a pattern by selecting the population of the other country. So once a pattern is generated, again, it will ask me to enter the column name. Once the column name is entered, I'll just say next. Now the data has been extracted. Now I'll have to click on finish. It will ask me an option to check if uh, the data is spanning through multiple pages and if you have a navigation property or a navigation link. So I'm going to say yes so that if the data is spanning through multiple pages, I would like to extract all those details as well. So I'm, ju I'm just pointing it to the navigation link and now the activity has been saved in the UI path. The very next activity would be write to CSV because I'll have to, I'm just not extracting the data. I'm just writing the extracted data to the CSV file. I'm just creating a CSV file with, with some random file name. So extracted data would be available in a variable. So I'm just passing that variable to the right CSV activity. That's it. Now I'm, I'm just running this uh, activity. Let me save this. So I'm just running this uh, sequence. Probably it will take a little time because I mean, it will have to span across multiple pages and extract all the data. Let me check if the activity has been completed. I guess it would it would take uh, 30 to 40 seconds approximately. That's it. So the activity has finished its execution uh, within 39 seconds. So now uh, let me go and check the Excel over here or the CSV file which we have created or which is generated by the activity. So if you see the data has been extracted and the data has been pushed to the CSV file. So uh, this can be cross verified with the available uh, data in the portal as well. So if you, if you intend to compare, the option is also available to compare the country and its corresponding population. The population might, might differ, the numbers might differ. It might not be accurate in this scenario because this is a, a live population tracker and you know every second or every minute uh, the count would change but however with respect to uh, uh, static data uh, it would always be accurate so having said that i mean this is just a small automation which intends to show how data can be crawled or scrapped using a ui path